This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup, the show where we get you up to speed on all the wacky, exciting, and generally awesome tech rumors that happen every single day on the internet. This week, Nokia might have six devices to announce in less than a month. Nest might be making a smoke detector, specs for a possible HTC One successor, and the first curved smartphone may come from Samsung. Well, John's busy taking care of his brand new son with his lovely wife right now, so I'm on the rumor watch this week. This is Rumor Roundup, let's get started. Looks like Nokia might go out with a bang. Their final press event before they officially get swallowed up by Microsoft is on October 22nd, and sources are saying it's gonna be a doozy. Not one, not two, but six devices are reportedly on the docket for announcement. Six, plus a slew of new accessories for the Lumia line. So what devices might we see? Well, there's a six inch Lumia phablet and a Lumia Windows RT tablet that look like they're gonna be announced, but beyond that, we're not really sure probably an Asha device or two, but the real question is that Nokia handset that runs Android. Can you imagine that being Nokia's last hurrah before moving under the Microsoft umbrella? That would be what I call a mic drop. Boom. Well, the company Nest pretty much redefined the boring thermostat for homeowners, and now it looks like they're gonna attempt to do that again, only this time with smoke detectors, yeah. Sources familiar with Nest plans say they're planning to launch a smoke and carbon monoxide detector with connectivity in mind. It's also rumored to have a subscription service attached that will alert your smartphone if smoke or fire is detected in your house so you can keep an eye on your home even if you're not there. A subscription model is a really great way for Nest to bring in a steady revenue stream. And they've already shown they can make a seemingly boring device for the home really cool and high tech with the Nest thermostat. So this smoke detector could be just as successful. I mean, how many of us ever thought about our thermostat before Nest came along? Not me. So I hope they keep expanding. And if they do keep expanding, I would personally love to see a home security system from them. So the HTC One is probably my favorite Android device of 2013, and if these rumors about its follow-up are true, it's gonna be a beast. Greek website techcommunity.gr reported that the One is getting some hefty upgrades, specifically an octa-core chip and three gigs of RAM. It looks like the screen size will stay the same as the current HTC One, and we'll almost definitely see a camera upgrade, but overall, even with those most basic of specs, it's a pretty exciting prospect. Of course, the only thing we have to go on is a screenshot from a rumored device, so it's a kind of a thin rumor, but I'm already wondering if it'll have a huge battery like the Butterfly S, which was amazing, and what HTC will name it. The HTC 2, the HTC 1 squared, HTC 0, where does HTC go from here? And lastly, Samsung in the rumor mill this week with a really interesting story. According to reports at a Note 3 launch event in Seoul, South Korea, Samsung Mobile's head of strategic marketing said they plan to introduce a smartphone with a curved display. Surely this is futuristic tech. Nope, it's this October in Korea. That's a whopper of a rumor right there. Now we don't know if curved also means flexible, but I'm going out on a limb and guessing Samsung will want to crawl before they walk and introduce similar tech to their curved OLED TVs that we've seen at every trade show this year. So it won't be a bendy phone, sorry guys. I'm actually really curious about your opinion on this one. Is a curved screen like a bonus for you? Because I don't know about it. It's one thing to have a curved 80 to 100 inch television in your living room because it's really immersive and it wraps you in your TV but a five inch screen in your pocket or your hand? Uh, I'm not sure. I guess that's up to the user. All I know is I'm looking forward to October anyway because I just really wanna see that because that's something new and exciting and I love new and exciting tech. Gotta interrupt this episode with a quick little shout out to Full Sail University. Obviously apps are huge right now. They are everywhere. And we've all had those ideas that make you say, oh my God, that should totally be an app, right? Well, Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you how to make an app from concept to post-launch marketing. Well, even better, you do the entire program from the comfort of your own home via Full Sail's online education platform. Well, with Full Sail's mobile dev program, you learn both sides of app development for iOS 
and Android, creating your app with advanced programming languages, and then launching and managing the business of your app once it's complete. But Ashley, you say, I don't have a good enough computer to run lines of advanced code and I can't afford all that expensive software. That's okay, because with Full Sail's Project Launchbox program, students get a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software plus iOS and Android devices. So you're all ready to go. Now, if you're ready to make that killer app and you're interested in learning more about Full Sail's online degree program, just head over to fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo. Hopefully you're all caught up now on the best rumors out there this week. We're back every single week recapping all the rumors you can eat. Throw us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today. We always appreciate that. And you can head over to technobuffalo.com for all the latest and greatest tech news. I'm Ashley Escada. See you next time. What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you wanna see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.